we've got an amazing video from a Las Vegas courtroom. Yeah. I guess this happened yesterday. Yeah. This is... female judge has oh, just sentenced geez. the guy, um, ironically, for assault, has just oh, said wow. that uh, you're not uh, getting... Is that what it is? Released uh, right and now? She's basically trying to teach him a lesson. Yeah. So. Oh, boy. He... he and he didn't take, appreciate that, but I think it's time he didn't take it well. a taste of something else because mm. I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court... Oh, 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 hey. oh my gosh. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Wow. That's, that's ugly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this goes on. They should get her out of there. I mean, he is. Did she crawl out of there, I hope? Oh, he's getting pummeled now. Wow. Holy cow. And you had, I mean, he had to keep punching him because you saw the guy got up and was still swinging. Wow. Oh, he was dragging her. I didn't catch that. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, he's uh, doing court again today, by the way, for this charge. Wow. I wonder if it's the same judge. So he just dove over the bench yeah. to, mm -hmm. to get to the judge. Yep. And tried to start wailing on her. Instead, he got a beat down. Uh, wow, that is something else. Whoa, look at Justin got ups. Oof. Oof. He wow. was Superman on her. Mm. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. And that's Las Vegas. That's fun. Isn't that fun? Yeah, what a society we've got going on right now. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, Again, it just gets better every day. Every day. It? Every day. Uh, also, the director of the next Star Wars movie, which is set to come out in 2026. Yeah, May of 2026, I saw. So we're still like two years away from it. I, over two years away. And they have they have three uh, scheduled. Oh, they do? Mm -hmm. So 2026, and then do we wait another uh, eight years? Probably. Uh, I think it's December of, let's see, May 22nd, 2026, December 18th, 2026, and December 17th, 2027. Oh. Wow. They're going to okay. drag it out. So they're going to do it in a year. Hmm. Uh, anyway, she had some things to say about men yesterday, the new Star Wars movie director. Oh, yeah. First, what was the, what's the first clip here, though, Chris? The first, uh, this is how she was introduced in the New Year's. So clip 20. Clip 20. Okay. Yep. Also the first woman and the first person of color to direct a Star Wars film oh, and set to be released neat. in 2026. You can okay, say that, that the force or... is strong with this one. <laughs> Here's Charmino Bechinoy. You can say the force, force is strong, strong with, with her. Okay. You know, I'm very thrilled about the project because I think um, what we are about to create Pause it for is a something sec. very Wait, she's a person of color? What color is she? Well, she's from Pakistan. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so brown. I, does she not look white? Is that bad to say? I, I, she looks... Well, she has an accent, so that, that makes up for it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say. You know, I'm very thrilled about the project because I think mm -hmm. um, what we are about to create is something very special. Right. And we're in 2024 now. And I we think uh, it's about time that we had a woman uh, come forward uh, to shape the story Why? in a galaxy shape? far, far away. Why? Shape the Why is it story? about time that we had a woman do this? Why? What does it matter? Does a woman have to do every single job that comes along? Yes. It, a woman has to be involved in every project at some point i mean why if a woman is best suited for it fine hire a woman to direct a star wars movie i don't care what gender you are i'm sorry gender is a frame of mind or something right did i get that uh, <laughs> or, you did. Yes. uh so i don't know what your frame of mind is actually or where you are this particular day <laughs> or what your preferred pronoun right. Thank would you. be thank you glad but, you course corrected but yeah yeah well you have to you have to right you have to if, if you want to see another paycheck you have to <laughs> so uh who cares yeah I, why do we have to play this game with every single thing well, this is the first woman and person of color to d direct a Star Wars movie. Who so? Cares? What kind of stat is that? I'm certainly not thinking that when I'm watching God, a movie. Jeez. Tell me more about this director. Is this a, is this a female, uh, a, a minority? Because it sure is. 
I, I feel I feel empowered just sitting here watching it, absorbing <laughs> it. And and by the way, when you watch this clip of her with uh, John Stewart, <laughs> yeah. um, just just think of this: Disney, mm -hmm. the company, just finding more and more ways to commit suicide right in front of us. Uh, okay. This is ugh, not. What is the balance of activating a force for change, Jeez. but also trying to permeate that mm. patriarchy, that power structure, and is that a part Good of the calculation question, of our art? So this is the it, job of Disney now, to perme permeate the patriarchy. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not in the business of making money with really entertaining films mm -mm. and really fun rides at an amusement park and really good food at the restaurant at the muse amusement park and uh, really good sporting events on ESPN. No, we need to permeate the patriarchy. That's your goal now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, on, I, my, on my YouTube I, channel, I, 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 uh, yeah. At the Mic with Keith, ah! I've been interviewing a guy, Ed McRae, who is just a Disney guru. The history is fascinating. And he sent me a video that, that we're going to play when, when I talk with him this weekend. And it's Ronald Reagan, 1955. Doing the TV uh, stand-up mm -hmm. for the uh, introduction of Disneyland and the grand opening. And Walt gets out there and talks about God, and they have chaplains there, mm. and they bless the park, and they wow. pray, and now Disneyland here. Oh my gosh, 180 degrees from there. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, it's just heartbreaking to watch this company do what it does. Yeah, it is. All right, uh, let's see if we can get through this. ...of your art. As well. Wait, start and, from and the beginning the and, and yeah. let it soak in. Yeah, uh, the question. What John Stewart is asking here. <laughs> I love the name of the show, Women in the World. So asinine, <laughs> Women in the World. Where else are they going to be? All right, let's hear it. <laughs> what is the balance of activating a force for change, but also trying to but also <laughs> permeate, permeate he knows that, this is garbage <laughs> that power structure that and power is that a part of the right. calculation of your art well of course as well <laughs> and and what's been the reaction it's, to it's, that oh absolutely. oh absolutely um i like to make men uncomfortable i enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> not you, just just not you. Not know, you. Not not you. Not point you. taken. Point taken. <laughs> Unreal. But um, you know, it is important it. to. <laughs> Can you it, it, switch this around? Uh huh. You know, just like we do with race all the time. If this was a man saying, you know what, I really like to make women uncomfortable. <laughs> I like to talk about men's issues and. And men's problems, and and I like to make women uncomfortable with that. I really do. I, it's great to get into the matriarchy. <laughs> I'm trying to permeate the matriarchy right now. <laughs> what kind of asinine BS is this? Wow, have we gone astray in this? I, we're just so far off the yep. rails. Yep, we're going off the rails on a crazy train, <laughs> and uh, I don't know that there's ever any. Getting back on the rails no. at this point. Got too many people. Like, I mean, this is the dumbest exchange I think I've ever heard at it's a forum. It's so bad. All right, let's see if we can get through her answer. To look into the eyes of a man and say, mm. I am here and recognize that. And recognize that I am working to bring something that makes you uncomfortable, and it should make you uncomfortable, because you need to change your attitude. And it's How only you, when you're uncomfortable, are you? when you're shifty, when you have to have difficult conversations, oh, that you will perhaps look at yourself in the mirror and not like the reflection, mm. and then say, maybe there is something wrong with the way I think, or maybe there is something mm. wrong with the way maybe I am Maybe something wrong with the way you think. This issue. Pumpkin? Maybe you should take a look in the mirror and see if there's any changes you can make. <laughs> I think I'll leave it at that because I had more, but I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, wait that's Stop it? There. Yeah, well, on the mirror thing, I was, I was oh. going to... Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, because we don't fat shame in here. You're mm -mm. right. We what? don't We don't fat shame. We don't. I don't even know why you brought that yeah, up at this particular juncture, like but you're right about non that. Non-sequitur. <laughs> we, don't, we don't fat shame. What Just garbage? Let me eat. So. Absolute 
garbage. Oh my so you gosh. got that nonsense. Oh my god. And then do you remember the the gay producer or whatever for Disney where she's working hard on her n- not so subtle gay agenda? Oh, I'm looking at her <sighs> um man. I'm I'm looking at her uh her what she's directed in the past. Mm-hmm. I would like to know what reinventing the Taliban question mark uh, is oh. about okay yeah i went to 2003 interesting um let's see assimilation no integration how did yes. she wind up on a star wars project uh-huh i think we're finding out uh as well I scroll she's through. brown mm-hmm. well yeah she's a woman, a woman. oh here, here we go we got climate change stuff oh in good here. that's good so she climate checks change. out the dei so, so sh- here yep. here's uh what she did um i i don't know what what this is, uh, like a cartoon or something, a Pakistan 3D computer animated family film. Mm, uh, I bet that was fun. Bahadur, The Revenge of Baba Balam. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> that looks good. Uh, Satara. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that three times. Little Girl's Dream. Okay. Three times? Then yeah. she, oh, Satara. here we go. So she made the leap. So she directed four animated flicks, and then okay. she was handed the reins for Miss Marvel. <laughs> oh, which was an absolute disaster! And flop. Star Wars is about to be with her. Oh, for sure. That, I mean, that, that, if you're, I goal... literally just read her fiction uh, uh, portfolio there. And she's told us what she's setting out to do. She's got an agenda to permeate the patriarchy. This is going to be fun. Not to entertain the masses and I... and make money for for Disney and create something that people enjoy. That's not her thing. And people will go and see this. Uh, uh, here's the woman I was talking about the, that was talking about the gay agenda at Disney. And I'd heard, you know, you hear whispers. Like, I'd, I'd heard things like, oh, you know, they won't let you show this at a Disney show. And I'm like, okay. So I was a little, like, sus when I started. And, <sighs> but then nice. my experience my was experience. <sighs> bafflingly the opposite of oh. what I had heard. On my little pocket of, like, you know, that is baffling. family Disney TVA. That is baffling. Um, the showrunners were super welcoming Meredith Roberts and like the, the our leadership over there has been uh-huh. so welcoming to like to the gay my, like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like I so her oh not at all secret gosh. gay agenda. Isn't that great? So we got the patriarchy under assault right now. And and then you've got the not so secret gay agenda at Disney. So they're doing really well. This is what Walt uh, I remember when he started the, the company and he got on television every Sunday night. And he told us about his not so secret gay agenda. Remember that? And the patriarchy stuff that he used to jam down our throats? <laughs> <laughs> Walt'd be proud, wouldn't he?